Hi dear students, welcome to MN Maths. In this video, we will discuss our next topic of Howard and Ownton uh, calculus Howard and Ownton edition 10, which is uh, express a function as a composition. So uh, sometimes, uh, dear students, we have a function and we have to decompose our function into uh, uh, is, we can uh, we have to uh, write as uh, uh, as a compositions of two functions. So uh, let's suppose we have a, an example which is h of x is equals to x plus one whole square and we. Uh, the question is that we have to uh, break this uh, our function into two uh, function right in a such a way as a composition so uh, the uh, inner part of this uh, bracket and the, the term under the bracket which is x plus one we take uh, we just uh, let uh, this function which is uh, un under the bracket where x plus one is uh, is equals to another function say as uh, g of x so g of x is equal to x plus one and uh, the t uh, the term the square term uh, the uh, we we, uh, we say that uh, here is a whole square so uh, we just uh, suppose that uh, we have another function f of x which is x square so uh, we can uh, write this function in uh, h of x in term of g and f just I write here we can express h in terms of f and g so now how what is the way to write the uh, uh, the uh, write the uh, function h uh, in terms of f and g so just uh, we just uh, think so uh, we have h of x is equal to x plus 1 whole square so x plus 1 is equals to g of x uh, we just uh, suppose here our x plus 1 is equal to g of x so just uh, now we have we just replace our x plus 1 by g of x so in, in uh, at that point i just replace x plus 1 by g of x and uh, g of x have a whole square and f of x is a square function so that's why I uh, write here, I can write here f of g of x because whenever we solve this f of g of x, it will be becomes a h of x. Uh, and uh, we can also write it h of x is equal to f of g. So th this is a way to a function decompose as a composition. A, a function, uh, give, uh, I just, uh, we can write our given function into a composition form into a composition form so uh, if we take another example let's suppose we have uh, another example uh, which is uh, just a function uh, we have to express 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 sine x cube as a composition of two functions as a compositions of two functions of two functions that is our uh, question and we just uh, reduce our this function into a composition of two functions so uh, we just uh, say here here is x cube sine x cube so to evaluate sine x cube we would first com uh, compute x cube so we just take x cube separately it, it will be another uh, we just consider it uh, will be uh, equals to another function uh, just I write here let's suppose uh, consider g of x is equals to x cube so this is uh, g of x and uh, also we say here uh, f of x is equal to simple sine x so now we can uh, write uh, these two function as a composition uh, how, what is the way to write here we are just uh, uh, if, if we write here sine x cube so what uh, the cube value x cube is equals to uh, g of x i just replace our x cube by g of x sine g of x sine g of x i just replace x cube by our function g of x which is already i consider so now we can write uh, we know that sine is uh, sine is sine x is equals to f of x so whenever in, in a, we replace sine by f then the variable here is it becomes g of x here is x here is g of x so the f of x will be uh, the uh, the the variable replaced by the function g of x so we can write here g of x 
so this is a, a way to decompose to write a function as a composition of two functions so uh, this is our example which i solve here uh, i write a function as a composition of two function we just uh, write here g of x we can also write here f composition of g so uh, so dear students in th that way we can express any function as a composition of a function we have a uh, uh, many other examples I take another example let's suppose we have uh, I just express uh, same statement of the, uh, this function we have if we have sine if we have sine cube x then uh, what uh, which steps have to follow so then we just take g of x uh, let's consider g of x will be equals to sine x and f of x will be equals to uh, x cube x cube yes x cube now we can uh, re reduce this function we can decompose this function as a composition of two function we just uh, uh, it, it will be equals to f composition of g uh, in such a way uh, just uh, right here the function sine cube x is equals to f of g of x directly because uh, whenever we solve this f of g of x it is it will be equals to sine cube of x uh, you can solve it you can solve it uh, f of x what is f of x f of x is equals to x cube and whenever we replace our x by g of x it will be equals to f of g of x sorry g of x cube and g of x is equals to sine x cube and sine x cube is equal to sine cube x so that is a way to write a function as a decompose this is a, this, I just explain this is not to be part of our uh, question I just explain uh, it will be a same thing uh, as um, which is given so uh, whenever we have to so you have to solve the uh, uh, we have to write a function in a composition form then uh, you have to follow these steps uh, these are very easy to uh, understand so thank you for watching my video if it's very informative for you then subscribe my channel and press the icon button